nice. Hey YouTubers, Grimmy Dragon here, and it's review time once again. And we are actually going to be kicking off a month of Femcons. So uh, get ready for that. And our first Femicon is actually the bonus figure from the Transformers Collectors Club subscription service. That's right, we're starting off with Night Racer and Shaker. Okay, so now we have Night Racer in her vehicle mode, which is this nice little black car. Well, which is really cool. A little repaint of Tailgate, but that works for me because it is a nice mold. And this is done pretty well. Um, as you can see, she's got a real nice bit of paint on her with uh, silver windshields, windows. A really nicely tampoed uh, Decepticon symbol on the hood and this really cool blue stripe going across most of the car, which is awesome. She also has blue exhaust ports for whatever reason. <laughs> I also like the fact that uh, despite being a very light gray for, um, plastic for the tires, they still painted the hubcap silver. I always like painted hubcaps. Uh, that's uh, an, always a nice detail. But, you know, that's pretty simple. She usually rolls pretty nice, pretty well. Um, let's have something out of place. Mm. But usually she does roll pretty well. It seems like one tire does not want to touch the ground for some reason. But in any case, I do like it. But let's get a quick comparison in before we get into the uh, other little partner. But uh, we got Wind Charger, who came out recently in Combiner Wars, and the original um, tailgate, which is odd because you know tailgate was a in G1 was a repaint of Wind Charger, but that's another story altogether. I believe Night Racer uh, originally appeared in G2, or at least was supposed to appear in G2 as part of their GoBots line. Not the GoBots you're thinking of, uh, just a little mini car line of Transformer G2. But, uh, yeah, it's nice that they all look so different from each other. Although, the only one with a little remolding would be Wind Charger because he's got a new head and it, they put in uh, an engine block on it. But, yeah, Night Racer is a straight up repaint of Tailgate. Yeah, which is cool with me. I like it, it works, and I'm happy with that. So while we get into the partner, which is Shaker, who's this tiny little bulldozer. Um, who is a repaint, I believe, of Ground Shaker. I could be uh, wrong on the name for that. Um, but he is a straight up repaint. And I'll just bring in Ground Shaker for comparison right now. You can see you know, this one's more black. This one's more of that uh, really light blue. And a little bit of white and gray. While this one has the blue little rake thingy. Yellow stripe with uh, gray treads. This one has the blue stripe with uh, black treads. And they just transform uh, flipping them up like that and pulling out the arms. Oop. As you can see 
nice silver face. Well, hopefully you can see. Decent silver face and some yellow bits to break up the black. Although most of the detail, sculpted details are kind of lost in the black plastic, which is sad. But he does have arms uh, sculpted in the reds. That's nice. Again, just pretty much a repaint of this guy here. Get that out of the way. Because he does have one more mode. Just push him forward like so. Whip out the handle and you have a battle claw. Possibly sniper rifle thing of some sort. I don't quite see it. Um, but the bio for Night Racer does describe her as a long range uh, sharpshooter. This doesn't look like a sniper rifle to me though. In fact, I never liked this weapon mode. I don't think anybody really cared much for it. We'll just flip the arms out to try to make it look a little more solid but yeah this is not the best uh, weapon well you can plug it into the front of a vehicle mode and now she looks like she's trying to plow something <laughs> okay but all kidding aside yeah, the the weapon mode for the uh, partner on um, MicroMaster doesn't work for me. Never did. But anyway, let's get her into robot mode. See how she looks there. Okay, so now we have Night Racer in her robot mode, and yeah, she pretty much is a black tailgate and straight up repaint from head to toe. Which works. I think it does a nice job. Um, you know, repainting a male character into a female character is a little odd, but uh, tailgate kind of works for it um, since the chest does tend to stick out a little bit, uh, which can be interpreted as uh, a bust on a female character. Or armor on a male character, whatever you want to think about it. If you want to think about it at all. <laughs> but, um, all in all, the head's painted very well. Nice light blue uh, that closely matches the um, blue plastic. And I do love those red eyes. And I did a good job of making her feel like the G2 character. I think it works out pretty well. Not perfectly, but it does do the job. It conveys that it's a different character. I think it will convey Night Racer at least to a degree that's acceptable. I do like the paint on the chest where that light blue comes out and the little bits of light blue at the bottom of the waist. Um, it helps to break up the black, which will help bring out the details really make it look nice um, yeah. nice blue legs and hips I like the blue stripes on the uh, shins and all in all it works out pretty well and articulation is going to be the same as tailgate but I did notice that this arm is rather loose, uh, when, which is sad, uh, but it can get into some poses. So it's not going to flop around everywhere all the time. So you got the usual shoulders, hips, ball joints at the knee, and yeah, ball joints at the elbows. And no hard to reach, she does have a swivel at the head. And yeah, the this hip piece will come out when trying to move the legs. Which is a bummer, but it's a Legends figure. I'm not too worried about it. But 
in any case, uh, let's get some quick comparisons in. Uh, there's tailgate. And here's wind charger. Who had that same problem with the uh, hips coming out? I think tailgate held in pretty well, so um, might just be a mold degradation thing along with the elbow. Which is sad since these are the only three versions of the toy, uh, not counting Japan. You know, Japan, Japanese has, toys have a little bit, have a tailgate, so I don't know. But yeah. There's that. We'll bring in Shaker real quick. You know, see that he um, is a lot tinier than Night Racer. And we'll just transform him. And put him in her hands. And he, yeah, it weighs down the arm very easy, unfortunately. Which is a shame. But she can get a faux two-handed pose. Maybe look like she's trying to aim him to fire. I don't know, it still looks kind of silly. I, mean, I get the uh, why since uh, tailgate came with the same micron or you know micromaster but uh, yeah it doesn't work so well with night racer unfortunately yeah. of course there are plenty of options for guns out there shapeways makes a ton and there's been microns from arms micron, so yeah, it's not like you can't get a weapon for her. But I am a little bummed that uh, you know she's doesn't have a gun included that she can really use. But anyway, well, let's just get the comparison couple, like get one more comparison with the other on the set. Which you would probably just see with Crocs review, but we'll do it one more time for old times' sake. Get, yeah. You know, there's Carzap and Tarantulas. Gonna get this to where they're all visible. And Serpentor. And the cell. And yeah, you can see everybody, I think. Oh. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, everybody's here. So it's a nice set to have. I do appreciate getting it. Again, I won an eagle eye, but you know what we got was pretty good, and I appreciate it. I like it, and you know I'm looking forward to next year. So that should wrap it up for Night Racer. A nice little Legends figure and worthy addition to any classic shelf. So I am very happy with her. Um, so that's the start of our month of Femicons, and we got a few weeks to go here, so got, you can expect some good things. And next week, I haven't quite decided on who exactly is next. I will narrow it down to 
one of these three beauties. So, next week, we're going Japanese, no matter which one it is. Be it Black Arachnia, Nightbird, or Slipstream. And I will see you next time. So, good night out there, whatever you are.